Jeezy has been pictured leaving a Manhattan courthouse after he was charged with misdemeanor assault over an alleged fight that took place at the Boom Boom Room last month. The rapper, 32, was hit with the misdemeanor assault charge and ordered by a judge to stay away from alleged victims of the altercation during his appearance at the courthouse on Friday, according to TMZ. The No Limit singer was pictured leaving Manhattan criminal court wearing clad in head-to-toe black. The rapper, whose real name is Gerald Earl Gillum, was ordered by the judge to stay away from the person he allegedly punched in the head. He was also ordered to avoid the man whose head was allegedly hit with a champagne bottle by one of G-Eazy's friends. TMZ reports the rapper was released without bail. GEZ allegedly got into a fist fight with two other men over a VIP section inside the exclusive Boom Boom Room at the Standard, Highline Hotel in New York City last month. According to the New York Daily News he went to the club on Friday at 12.40 a.m. with Page Six adding the incident took place at around 2 a.m. He entered a VIP section of the Boom Boom Room but it was not his, it had been set aside for a private party involving the Lacoste Clothing Company, the police told Nid. The performer was asked to move out of the Lacoste VIP room but GEZ allegedly did not want to go, and an argument took place. The site added that a full-on bar brawl broke out to the shock of others. Jeezy and his entourage allegedly attacked the partygoer, punching and kicking him to the ground, the site said. The fight spilled out onto the NYC sidewalk where there was more violence. Jeezy then reportedly punched a 32-year-old man in the face, the site shared after speaking with the police. The site also said neither G nor the other man went to the hospital for their injuries. The men who fought with the ex of Halsey told police that they had been attacked by GEZ. However, Page Six said one of the men did go to the hospital and they named him, socialite Daniel Chatterate, who hangs out with Kendall Jenner. It was also claimed that Daniel suffered from injuries to his head that required stitches. Page Six source added more color to the story, they are two super interconnected groups. They're all friends, and something set someone off, and GEZ's crew ended up bottling one of Zakbia's friends, Daniel, an insider told the site. Zak had nothing to do with it. He was just there. One of GEZ's friends smashed a bottle over Daniel's head, a source close to Bia claimed. Police subsequently took GEZ into custody without incident, the NID added.